Hello everyone, welcome again. In this lecture, we are going to start chapter number 13 of ACCF 6 taxation, which is on the national insurance, national insurance contribution. Now, just share the screen with you so that we can quickly go through with this chapter. It's, again, it is a small chapter as well uh, on national insurance contribution. Now, so far, we have been studying income tax, and that's the only tax we know in F6, right? Now, we know that we earn some income, we have to pay income tax. Now, another type of tax is also paid sometimes on the income which we earn. That is called national insurance contribution. I told you in, in, in the start of the video, in, in the first video I think it was, first or the second video, uh, I told you that there are two types of taxes collected by HM Revenue and Custom. One is a normal tax and other one is national insurance. So normal tax is the tax which is used for the building of the roads, hospitals, schools, etc. Whereas the national insurance uh, national insurance is collected so that the government can give the benefits to the deserved people like disabled or employment allowance or job seekers allowance housing allowance something like that right so this national insurance contribution if we pay this it will go to a separate account of HM revenue and customs and then HMRC will pay some benefits to the different people around the country right so that is national insurance contribution now who will have to pay let's see there are different names of national insurance contribution and there are different uh, types of national insurance contribution which is paid by different people. So first one is called a class 1 employee national insurance. Let's just look at, uh, just look beneath that it says class 1 employee. Now just the name says employee so it is paid by employee. And it is paid on the salary, bonus and excess mileage allowance uh, received from the employer. Now what does uh, excess mileage allowance mean? Now, in the income tax, as we have seen, that there were different, uh, you know, thresholds. So, 45 pence and 25 pence threshold. Up to that, we uh, we do not have to pay uh, any class one ni. And if there is any excess, then we will have to pay class one ni on that. So that's what excess mileage allowance is, right? Uh, and it is calculated on the annual basis. It is paid by a you know class one employee. Now, what is the rate on that? Up to 8,060 per year, you don't have to pay anything. And from 8,061 to 43,000 pounds per year, you have to pay at the rate of 12%. And if there is any excess, you'll have to pay at the rate of 2%. So that is class one, uh, you know, national insurance. Please remember, these rates will be given to you in the exam anyway. So you don't have to remember this table. Next one is class 1 employer. Now it is also paid on the salary, bonus and excess mileage allowance but it is paid by the employer. However, employer will get an employment allowance of £3,000 every year. So for our current tax year, he will get £3,000 annual exemption. Whatever, if I am an employer, if I am the boss, so whatever, if I have three employees and total class 1 uh, employer NI is say for example £10,000 then that £10,000 will be reduced by £3,000 exemption. I only have to pay £7,000, right? So that is £3,000 relief from the total class 1 NI payments. So that is paid by employer. And then tax rates are given as well, as you can see on your screen. I have on first £8,112, you don't have to pay anything. And on excess of that, you will have to pay a rate of 13.8%. Class 1A, it is paid by the employer on the benefits and the rate is 13.8%, right? As you can see just beneath that. Class 2 is paid by self-employed. If you are self-employed, you will have to pay Class 2. And also Class 4 is also paid by the uh, self-employed. So Class 2 is just a normal weekly rate, whereas Class 4 is paid on the taxable annual profits. Now what are the rates? Just see above that. If you go on the top of that, so Class 2 is 280 per week. Uh, however, you can get the exemption if uh, uh, you know accounting profits are not more than five thousand nine hundred nine hundred sixty-five, or you receive the state pension, then you will not have to pay this two eighty per week. Uh, this two eighty per week will be paid if any none of the exemptions apply to you. And class four will also be paid. Uh, so eight thousand sixty, you don't have to pay anything. And from eight thousand sixty-one to eighty uh, forty-three thousand pounds at the rate of 9% and on excess of that uh, it will be at the rate of 
right? So that's it for our uh, national insurance contribution and we have finished our income tax as well. Next time we'll look at capital gains tax, but, but before I wind up this video, let me show you the question which you have to do on uh, uh, national insurance. So if you come to page number uh, 28 of your BPP exam kit and question number 88, it was examined in March 2016. And if you do the B part of this question and C part as well, uh, you know, you will have, uh, you know, it is testing the national insurance contribution of the uh, F6 taxation. All right. So please make sure you do, uh, you do the whole question because, uh, yeah, you can do the whole question. Question number 88 of BP, BPP exam kit. All right. Also, let me tell you the questions which you which you can do from your from the BPP exam kit. Now if you come to page number, <coughs> excuse me, where the table is, where the table of question is, uh, on, I don't know, let me see. Here, if you look at the part B, so from question number 33 to 53, these are the section A question of the F6, then section B questions are from 63 to 78, now please remember these questions are only relevant to income tax and NI, so you can do it whenever you are, uh, whenever you want, and you uh, try to do it at ASAP. Right, so these will test the uh, NI and income tax which we have studied. Then sex, section C questions from 83 to 99, and uh, you can do these questions as well. Uh, so the more questions you do, the more uh, confident you will become with the concepts. Right, so that's it for our, this video. And that's it for our income tax. Next time I will see you with the a capital gains tax, uh, which is our second topic uh, of ACC F6 taxation. Thank you very much and goodbye.